Hi, I'm Roy from Elementor, and today I want to show you how you can use the Off Canvas widget to create dynamic quick view content and elevate your loot grids, driving more engagement, conversion, and product exploration. This powerful capability is now available in Elementor version 326. Stay tuned. The Off Canvas widget is a powerful tool that allows you to display additional content in a model that slides into view when the connected element is clicked. Think of it as a way to expand on your content without overwhelming your initial design. For example, designers often use the off-canvas widget to add contact forms. Visitors can easily send a message without leaving the current page, keeping their experience smooth and uninterrupted. Another example is menus. You can trigger an off-canvas model to slide into view when visitors click in a hamburger menu, allowing you to create a sleek, modern side panel that helps visitors explore your website effortlessly. And now, let's talk about loop grids, a common and great way to showcase your products or posts and expose visitors to your content. When displaying your products or posts in loop grids, you want visitors to get as much useful information as possible, but you also want things to look clean, slick, and minimal. Thankfully, with Elementor version 326, we're presenting a way to enjoy both worlds. Because now, by connecting the off-canvas widget to loop grids, you can dynamically display additional content for each grid item without ever taking visitors away from the main page, keeping them exactly where you want them. All right, so let's try and set up something like this. First, let's drag in a loop grid and create a new template. We'll add a product image as well as a product title. And we'll also add a short description and an add to cart button. But to showcase this feature today, I'll add an additional button and we'll name it Quick View. All right, the loop template is ready, but we want to trigger an off canvas to open up when we click the Quick View button. To do that, let's drag in an off canvas widget into the loop template. I'll name the off canvas Quick View so I can easily find it later when I need to link it to the button. Now I can go ahead and center it both horizontally and vertically, and I'll also fix the width and the height. Okay, looks good. Now let's add our content. I want the product title again, the full product description so visitors get all the info they need, the price, a product gallery showing more beautiful images of my products, and finally, an add to cart button. Okay, now what's left for me to do is to go back to my quick view button in the loop template and link it to open my off canvas on click. By doing that, the off canvas will open when visitors click the button and the content will be dynamically pulled for each single loop item. With just a few clicks, we've created an interactive design that keeps visitors engaged and drives meaningful actions. That's the power of this new feature, dynamic content for the off canvas widgets in loop grids, now available with Elementor 326. But there are three more reasons to update. This version includes further performance improvements with optimized CSS and DOM, ensuring less bloat, faster load times, and better SEO ranking. There's also an ad block detection trigger available in the display conditions panel, paired with a new reload page dynamic tag, allowing you to create interactive and actionable pop-ups, such as one with a, I turned off my ad block button. So when visitors click the button, the page is refreshed, ensuring the updated experience reflects the visitor's actions. And lastly, a new elementary AI feature, Unify Product Images. This new feature effortlessly standardizes your product images, ensuring they all have the same style, no matter their origin. It centers all images, can add a subtle shadow to create depth, and even lets you select the background color. So, as always, let us know what you think in the comment section below, and we look forward to seeing your results in the global Elementor community. I'm Roy from Elementor. Happy creating. See you next time.